Hello there fellows and welcome to a Tiger Tip with Tigers RC. This time we'll be looking at making a medieval style house and I will be using this house that I've built on the Cube Crowd fan server. Um, so first things first when you build your medieval house you've got to think of your floor plan. How big do you want your house? Because that is the most important thing. I'd recommend when you figure out what size it's going to be, make sure it has an odd width and an odd length, and that will make the entire house feel a little bit just nicer. You can have a central block that is the center of your ceiling and your roof and your entire house so that your attention can be drawn to that. Without that central block, the building may look a little bit off. Also, when you lay out your floor plan, go ahead and lay down the basic starting points for your support beams. These will just be vertical beams of wood, or typically it's wood, um, that a lot of medieval houses had and they will look like they support up they hold up your house lay those out in an even pattern with the same width in between so for this one it's three blocks in between each support beam and then a little bit of fun over here I just did one block between these because I wanted a little bit of extra room inside but three blocks between each and then design a wall segment that will go in that three block gap. If you can make it go out as well as go in into the wall that would be good just make sure it doesn't go too far in and if you can make it have a window and a light source that will be very good because you want to be able to see out of your house and to actually be able to see when it's night. If you can make it so that the window the window is optionally replaced that is very good because it allows you to have more versatility when you do the interior so that you can put something in front of the window like that or over here as well and it won't look out of place. You can just replace the window with something else and your wall will be solid on the outside. Once you have your support beams and you have all the walls in between, you can go ahead and add little detailed areas like this porch so that you can have a front door and a seating area outside then you'll want to come up to your second floor level and start to build something out of your support beams there. I'd recommend coming out one block and going up after that, doing something interesting with the support beams right there, having them stick out like it's a cross beam and go all the way across. This will separate your first lower floor which is going to be made out of darker materials with your upper, second, and attic floors that will be made out of lighter materials like wood. This um, typically it doesn't have to be too much you don't want to overdo it because the second floor is going to be simply a white color, either stained clay, snow, or quartz, because it's a plaster wall that most medieval houses had. Make sure to incorporate windows into this plaster wall, but the windows can be very versatile and you don't actually have to have the same height for each of those windows. 
when you do start to build your roof, the very first thing you want to do is get this angle correct. Make it so that it's like a curved pattern, or if you would like it to be a straight um, diagonal, or if you want it to bow out a little bit, or whatever you want to do with your roof, make sure that that pattern is complete before you take it all the way across. Make sure you, you take it all the way across, and then after you've drawn your entire roof all the way across on both sides, go ahead and add some sort of band, something that goes all the way along the entire roof and gives it a splash of a different color either stone brick or something like that so that your roof doesn't look completely drab. The color helps to draw your attention to this nice sloped roof that you just made. You can add articulation to your roof like a secondary little side roof with a window or a chimney. The last thing that you want to do with your exterior is add some detailing. Either some smoke to your chimney. If you're building multiple houses, make sure the smoke all faces in the same direction because that's the wind direction and it's not going to change. Um, or even some sort of vines growing up the side. Make sure that you rein in your vines with some string so that they don't grow too long and just grow them along the side. Choose like a random direction, your starting point, choose a random direction close to the house and just grow them up that side. Bring them out some and hang them over your entire house. Vines do hang quite a bit, so once you get them to a high spot, go ahead and just let them drop like they're affected by gravity. Bring them up and around. You can make them go as high as you like, and it will add some needed color to your house. The green makes it pop out. Also, go around the outside and take some bone meal and use that on the ground. Make some grass appear and around the back where nobody's going to go, go ahead and make some of this grass tall grass. Like this. That gives it that entire abandoned feel. Very, very overgrown back here. And that is pretty much your entire exterior complete. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is on the Cube Crowd server and I will put a link down in the description. If you would like to come and play on my plot you can join up pretty fun server and great guys here the next tiger tip will be on doing the interior of your medieval houses just to make them look a little bit nicer I hope you found this useful so until next time fellows so long <laughs>